Have you ever wanted to print directly from Cura to your printer? Show you how to do it. Hey guys, I hope you guys have installed Octoprint and you're using it and it's giving you the joy that it's given me. So I really hope that that last video was helpful to you guys. This is for the guys who don't know much about Octoprint and uh, I really appreciate the feedback on the last video. Uh, last video was not bad, it got a couple of views and uh, yeah, we've had a couple of people install Octoprint. So uh, now that you've got that installed, you might want to remotely control your machine through Octoprint, but using Cura. Now I've got my Octoprint session open up here and you can see that I've added a webcam. I've just added a Microsoft HD webcam. You can use a Raspberry Pi camera, which I believe is better to do the HD cameras uh, because you get better recording, all that kind of stuff. So, but I've just put an HD camera on there for now. I'll get myself a Raspberry Pi camera shortly. So we put this on here and as you can see, I've got a live view of my printer, which is now remotely. It's not in the same area that I'm in here. It's now remote away from me, which is really useful. So inside Cura over here, I have got a my Creality printer set up and I want to add a model. So let's go and add a model. So I'm just going to open up my calibration cube and we'll slice that calibration cube. Now, traditionally what you would do is you would save that to a location on your hard drive, save it, uh, I'm going to overwrite, and then you open up the folder, so you've got the folder there, you go back to your uh, Octoprint from your folder that you just opened, you then drag that file, that G-code down into here, and you press print, okay? Not that difficult, but it's just more convenient if you do it directly from Cura. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up that, that uh, plugin inside Cura and then initialize it and get it working with your Octoprint. So let's just delete that file. Let's get rid of that. Right, we're gonna go back to Cura. Now, Cura has an awesome little marketplace on it. I really suggest you go look through this marketplace. There are some really nice little plugins. It's not a ton, but there are some nice plugins here that you can use on your printer and making your, um, your Cura uh, far better. So, one of the things that we're going to be looking for is once it loads here, we're going to go down to Octoprint Connection. That's a plugin that has been written to connect Cura directly through to Octoprint. So let's install this. It's a quick install. Just please note that it will restart your Cura when you're done. I'm going to go agree to the license and it's now installed. So we can quit Cura and restart that. A few minutes later. Now that Cura has restarted, let's go in and edit our machine. So I'm just going to go to uh, settings. I'm going to go to my machine, my Creality, and I'm going to manage my printers. And then on the Creality Ender 2, you'll see here that there's now a new tab on the right here. So before you had update firmware, machine settings, and now there's a connect Octoprint. Right, so now we're going to connect to Octoprint. I'm going to click on add and we'll give it an ins instance name. So let's just call it MyEnder3, right? Octopi.local, right? Which is a DNS name, the, the host name, which you can change. I'm actually gonna change that to ender.local shortly. But for now, let's leave it as octopi.local and we click on OK, right? So now we're gonna go say MyEnder and you'll see that now it's asking for an API key. Now, where do you get that API key? So we go back to to uh, Octoprint and we click on our settings, which is that button up there and we go to API. And you'll see that there is an API here. I can generate a new one. Uh, let's proceed and generate a new one. That'll create a new API for this, this instance. Just remember that if you redo it, it will lose the connection to the old one. I'm now gonna click on the copy over here. That'll copy it into my clipboard and we'll save that. Right, let's go back to Cura. And over here, we'll just paste that that we just copied and you'll see that it connects directly through to Cura. So we've got our connected, it's connected. Sorry, I click on connect and it will now connect, right? We click on close, close. And now you'll see that when I open up a test cube here, my calibration cube, I'll be able to see the thing, I'll be able to slice it. And a new option comes up, print with Octoprint. Now, what is really cool with this as well is on your monitor section here, you've also got 
a full connection to your to your octoprint you can see the temperature of your printer you can see the print that is printing out on on your webcam and um, use you can you can jog your print i've actually used this before where i've jogged the position remotely from my office to knock off a print and then to start printing another print so that was great fun it was exciting to do because i came home from work and i had two prints not just one so that that's awesome little caveat there this this uh, version that we're doing now is only for local network unless you've got your switch you've got your port forwarding sorted out there and you can create port forwarding. we'll go into that in another episode we'll have a look at the way to remotely from outside of your network to print on your printer so once we've done our slice, we can now print to Octoprint. It will now upload it and start printing immediately. So there's no initial clicking, there's nothing. It starts your print. There you see it'll preheat and your print will be print. You can now monitor your print and it's as easy as that. I love this plugin. I use it all the time. It was a real pain trying to copy it across all the time and then going to find it in your list and, and print it. No, I didn't enjoy that. Just print directly through to Octoprint and you're done. Guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, give me a like. Uh, please subscribe. We're looking for subscribers in this channel. The channel, we nearly at a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. Thanks to all my subscribers that have subscribed. Uh, enjoy this channel. Give me some comments below. Let me know what else you want to see, if it's with Octoprint or with anything with the printers. I'll do my best to help and see what I can show you guys. Uh, thanks for joining me. Check out my Instagram as per my daughter again. And uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.